Hi everyone, it's Scott here with another video. Today I thought I'd show you some of the differences between uh, the built-in voice recognition that comes with your computer. Uh, that could be Windows, that could be uh, in Mac OS X, or even within Google Docs. <laughs> Now, Google Docs, some people don't realize, has its own voice typing facility built in. Now, I've tried all of these different solutions and they're all there or thereabouts. They're all much of a muchness when it comes to accuracy. So you're about to see an example of something that is representative, I think, of uh, the accuracy across all three of those solutions. But we're going to concentrate on Google Docs uh, own boot voice typing simply because this is truly cross platform. This can be used obviously in a browser on any computer. You can even use this on a Chromebook. The only downside, obviously, you have to use it online. You have to have an internet connection, but you know, who doesn't nowadays? So to do this, uh, you've got to use the Chrome browser. This is important. It has to be done within Chrome. So I know you can open up Google Docs in other browsers like Firefox, Safari, whatever. It's You've got to use Chrome to do this, which is fair enough. So uh, we'll come we'll come to the actual how to do it in a moment. But what's important is the punctuation. Now, these are the only phrases you can use to add punctuation to uh, your text. Period, comma, exclamation point question mark, new line, new paragraph. Now that can be a bit of a pain for someone like myself. I'm British. I don't say period. I say full stop and Dragon will allow me to do that. But it's just about, you know, uh, making an adjustment exclamation point instead of exclamation mark that I would say. Uh, but, you know, as long as you know what these commands are, you can work with them. So notice, notice there's no mention of open quote, close quote, all that sort of thing. Uh, that's where these things can, can fall down. Okay, so to get started, we go up to the tools menu, go to voice typing, and then you can select your dialect. Uh, I'm going to select English United Kingdom. That might give me the option to use full stop instead of period. Let's give it a try. Let's see if it knows. Okay, so click to speak and then we're off. This is a test of the built-in voice recognition facility that comes with Google Docs, full stop. I've just paused it for a moment. Yep, that's great. So I've selected uh, English UK and it's allowed me to use full stop instead of period. So that's interesting. Okay, so we'll carry on. I am dictating clearly and in the same manner that I would use if I was dictating into Dragon Naturally Speaking, full stop. New paragraph. It'll be interesting to see how well this does in comparison to a piece of software that is not only very established, but has been around for an awful long time and costs an awful lot of money, full stop. The beauty of Google Docs and this particular function is that it is free, full stop. New paragraph. I'm now going to dictate some dialogue to see how well this would work for fiction writers. Full stop. New paragraph. Open quote. Where are you going? Question mark. Close quote. Jenny said. Full stop. New line. Derek looked at her quizzically. Full stop. Open quote. None of your business. Full stop. Stay here, comma. I don't want you involved. Full stop. Close quote. New paragraph. This ends the test. Full stop. Okay, so that's, that was interesting. So let's uh, take a quick look very briefly at what it's done. We've got some obvious errors here. This is the worst bit. It's the dialogue. This is where it's not so much an error. It's just a limitation of the service. Um, so we've done that. Let's jump straight into Dragon and see how that does with exactly the same um, with exactly the same text. Open Notepad. 
go to sleep. Very briefly, you'll see that I am using Notepad. I recommend that in the book just to keep things simple. Uh, but we are using the same setup in every other way. We're using the same mic. Okay, so let's get started. Wake up. This is a test of the built-in voice recognition facility that comes with Google Docs. Full stop. I am dictating clearly and in the same manner that I would use if I was dictating into Dragon Naturally Speaking. Full stop. New paragraph. It'll be interesting to see how well this does in comparison to a piece of software that is not only very established, but has been around for an awful long time and costs an awful lot of money. Full stop. The beauty of Google Docs and this particular function is that it is free, full stop. New paragraph. I'm now going to dictate some dialogue to see how well this would work for fiction writers, full stop. New paragraph. Open quote. Where are you going? Question mark. Close quote. Jenny said, full stop. New line. Derek looked at her quizzically, full stop. Open quote. None of your business, full stop. Stay here, comma. I don't want you involved, full stop, close quote. New paragraph. This ends the test, full stop. Go to sleep. Okay, so we're done. Let's take a look at how it did. So this is a test of a built-in voice. Writer. You notice straight away it got that wrong. It, it maybe, I, maybe I clicked the microphone and it just didn't pick it up in time. So it's missed the first few words, missed quite a few. This is a test of the built-in it's missed in Google Docs, it comes with Google Docs. I'm dictating clearly and in the same manner as I was used, so I was taking, okay, so it's got Dragon naturally speaking wrong. Um, maybe it's not to know that Dragon should be capitalized. Naturally speaking over here, you notice there's no space. That is actually how the product uh, is written. So that's correct in Dragon, that's wrong in Google Docs. But we're talking a minor um, correction. In terms of actual recognition, let's carry on. It'll be interesting to see how well this does in comparison to a piece of software that is not only very established. Now, for an awful long time, costs an awful lot of money. Now, we've both got cost wrong. That should be costs. So they were both wrong there. The beauty of Google Docs and this particular function is that it is free. I'm now going to dictate some dialogue to see how well this would work for fiction writers. I'm now going to dictate some dialogue there. Open quote. Now, this is where it goes to pot. Open quote. Where are you going? Close quote. Jenny said. Derek looked at her. He didn't get quizzically. I thought I said quickly. That's a tricky word, I suppose, but there we go. None of your, open quote, none of your business. Stay here, comma, I don't want you involved. Close quote. This end of the test, it got ends wrong. So, we've got a few errors. This is near perfect. Obviously, uh, Dragon has got all of the open quotes and close quotes correct. So if you write fiction, this is a no-brainer. I think you've got to you've got to use something like this. So it's not just about pure accuracy; it's about convenience as well. So the only one it got wrong was cost uh, instead of. And they both got that, which is interesting. They both got it wrong. So out of interest, how many words is that? Let's have a quick look. Word count, 131. We'll call it, say, 120 or, or something like that because of these open quotes being treated as words. Um, call it, say, 125 words or something like that. So Dragon got one word wrong out of 125. It even got this correct, ends instead of end. So you do the maths. I mean, one word wrong out of 125 is about, oh, I don't know. It's, it's well over 99% accurate, isn't it? So it's, it's about 99.6% accurate or something. Pretty good. And that's as close as you're going to get, I think, to 100%. And don't get me wrong, this is a, a profile in Dragon that obviously has been set up and is working as I want, as I want it to work. But having said that, this isn't bad, you know? I mean, it had no training whatsoever. I'm gonna kind of allow it this, because I think maybe it just didn't pick the mic up in time. Although, you know, should I allow that? I don't know, I don't know. 
let's say it got a little bit wrong there. Um, that's one correction it needs that needs changing. There's another one. This is wrong, so that would have to be corrected in editing. Um, cost, cost, it got wrong there, so we're on our fourth error. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know about this. I, I can't really count this as an error because it just doesn't do it. It doesn't do open quotes and close quotes. It's a limitation of the service. So if you know that going in, then fair enough. Uh, but it got that wrong as well. Got quizzically wrong, didn't it? And the interesting thing is you can right click, but there's no kind of, unless it knows it's an error, there's no option to train it or, or to, to tell it that it got it wrong. So we're looking at about six errors there, I would say. Six errors in actual words, um, not counting this and this. So what's that out of 125 words, about 95-ish percent accurate. It's not bad considering it doesn't cost anything. But you've, you've got a question, you know, your own needs and your own budget and, and what you want to do and what you want to get out of voice recognition. Um, for me, this is enough of a difference to make a difference. So as a result of that, I, I, I have to go with Dragon. Specifically, the fact that I'm using uh, it to write fiction is just, you know, it's a no brainer. As I said, this to me isn't acceptable. You can't go editing all of this. You'd, you'd go nuts. The alternative is to just not put the quotes in at all and add them all in editing. But that's going to be a pain. It's going to take ages. So, yeah, this is representative of what you'll find in the built-in dictation built into Windows and OS X as well. They're all kind of similar. Um, Dragon obviously is better. It comes out on top. It costs more money, but it will learn your voice. It will learn your writing style and it should save you time in the long run. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, only you can decide what's best for you. But as a guide, I hope uh, you've got something out of this. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.